Hello and welcome back here. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom is the last movie in DC's live-action 2023 release plan, and it is not expected to fare well at the box office according to early forecasts from DC Studios. After its 2018 release, Aquaman swiftly rose to prominence as the most well-liked and lucrative film inside the DCEU. It brought in over $1 billion at the global box office and positioned Jason Momoa for a successful future as Arthur Curry's Aquaman. The fact that DC Studios' Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom is being released as the last project before the DCEU's relaunch into the DC Universe suggests that, despite Aquaman's popularity, the production of a sequel was unavoidable. The last DC Extended Universe film in the year's last superhero movie, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, is slated for release on December 22, 2023. The announcement that the DCEU will be relaunched into the DC Universe came soon after James Gunn and Peter Safran were appointed as co-CEOs of the new DC Studios in November 2022. Regrettably, this had a negative effect on DC projects that were still in development. The 2023 releases from DC Studios have been beset with issues, and it seems like Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom will be no different, given the unfavorable early predictions for James Wan's next sequel. The $205 million budget for Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom means that, in order to break even, the next production must earn at least double that amount, or $410 million. Variety revealed in December 2022 that James Wan has cut the budget for the Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom reshoots after it had already been increased by many iterations. Reshoots were conducted in reaction to test screenings, which reportedly failed to elicit the desired reaction from DC Studios. The budget for Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom may not be the largest for DC Studios, but it does not bode well for the movie given early box office estimates. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom is expected to gross between $32 and $42 million domestically on its first weekend of release, with a potential total of $105 to $168 million according to Box Office Pro. These predicted figures are appalling, especially considering the $205 million budget for the movie, and suggest that Warner Brothers and DC Studios may face a major financial disaster with Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. As with 2018's Aquaman, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom may be a surprise hit for DC Studios, but with pre-sales 62% behind 2022's hated Black Adam, things don't seem good for Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. According to early box office estimates for Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, all four of DC Studios' next 2023 theatrical films are expected to become box office bombs. Following the success of DC Studios' first post-COVID-19 release, Black Adam in 2022, which was also a box office hit, Shazam! Fury of the Gods, a follow-up to 2019's Shazam! was released in February 2023 and made only $133.8 million on a $125 million budget, a significant drop from the 2019 film's meager earnings. But Shazam! Fury of the Gods was by no means the year's worst letdown. The Flash, which debuted in June 2023, was supposed to be one of the largest and most lucrative enterprises in the DCEU, but it ended up being the franchise's worst disaster. The Flash, which lost Warner Brothers an estimated $200 million, turned into one of the greatest box office failures ever, not only in superhero movies, grossing just $270.6 million on a budget of $220 million. This cascading effect soured Zolo Meridwena's live-action debut. August 2023's well-received Blue Beetle turned into the DCEU's lowest-earning production, making a total of $129.3 million on a budget of $104 million. Regretfully, it doesn't appear like things will get any better for Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. A number of things might have hurt DC Studios' 2023 releases, but maybe the most significant one is that Gunn and Safran made the announcement about the DC Universe relaunch before these movies' theatrical debuts. Viewers may not have felt compelled to hurry to theaters to see these newest releases, since they won't affect the DC Universe's future, especially because the series is about to undergo some significant changes, such as the recasting of several stars and the creation of entire storylines. The superhero fatigue that seems to have been afflicting the Marvel Cinematic Universe recently may possibly have contributed to the failure of these ventures. Hollywood came to a complete stop for many months in 2023 due to the WGA and SAG-AFTRA strikes, which resulted in several production delays, stops, and reorganizations. Actors were unable to promote their productions as a result of these strikes, which negatively affected the success of many DC Studios and Marvel Studios projects. The strikes ended in September and November of 2023, respectively, which could indicate that Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom would succeed more than its 2023 predecessors. However, 
Expectations aren't high for the upcoming project because more focus will be on the DC Universe's future starting with Superman Legacy in 2025. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.